Welcome to Small Arms Solutions. Today we're looking at Santan Tactical. In fact, we have here a complete rifle, uh, this complete rifle chambered in 223 Wild. And we're also going to take a look at the components of Santan Tactical. In ISO 2012, Santan Tactical was started in Chandler, Arizona by a gentleman named Dennis Harless. And his goal was to enter the market for manufacturing ambidextrous lower receivers. Now, at the time when he was going into this, there was very, very few manufacturers who made ambidextrous receivers. Everybody and their brother was making the standard mill spec, but to actually manufacture the uh, ambidextrous was quite rare. So in October of 2013 is when the SST-15 lower receiver was released, and this is what you see here. We have two of them here. We have the original one. This is one that I got in, in 2013 or 2014. Uh, this was These are the same models, except this one here uh, does not have the, the lizard, as you can see on here. Uh, this is unmarked, because some people do prefer to have it unmarked without the lizard on it. Um, this one here is a, is a new production. As you can see, there's a little bit of a change in materials. Um, for as far as most of the, for the most part, of the structure hasn't really changed, but um, they offered a couple different models of this. And it, we had, you know, the standard SST15, which is the complete lower receivers, again with the, with a lizard and without, and we also had a light. So basically, what, ha what happened was was around 2013 in that area, 2014. Uh, I was looking through the internet, uh, looking to do some reviews for Small Arms Review, and I looked up aimed extra slower receivers. And all of a sudden, this one here popped up, uh, something I'd never seen before. So I gave Santana a call so to take a look at him, and they sent me the one you see here, and there's another one uh, very similar to this. So they sent it. And I have to say, I was extremely uh, pleased with what I saw. It was uh, definitely unique at the time uh, from what everybody else was doing. Uh, it had a lot of really neat features. So let's take a look at some of those features. Manufacture of 7075 T6 aircraft aluminum, uh, standard mill spec. Now this one here uh, is, is, a, is a complete assembly. Uh, this was originally bought just a strip lower receiver. Uh, so we're, we're gonna go over the entire assembly, but uh, I'm gonna talk about the basically the receiver first. First, we have an extremely beveled magazine well. This was probably one of the most beveled ones that were out there. These are excellent for low level light conditions. Uh, this was also a very nice uh, structure, the way they made it, if you want to call it, if you want to call it uh, landscape or whatever you'd like to call it. Looking at the front, we have standard uh, pivot pin. Now, looking at the back, we'll see we have a very stippled uh, type magazine release. This was excellent due to the fact that if you had muddy hands or you had sweaty hands or any, anything that was on your hands, your finger was not going to slip off of this. Now, up here is the ambidextrous bolt release. Now, this is one of the features that really made this thing special. Now, this is not a bolt catch. It's a bolt release. If you want to activate the bolt catch, you have to do it from the left-hand side by pushing downward like a standard AR-15. But if this was in the, in the, open, in the lock position, you'd be able to push that. It'll be able to release it. And this also had that same kind of aggressive stippling on it. Now, of course, we have two stop notches on here, which, again, uh, that doesn't really do all that much, but uh, it's it's there. It's for sculpture. The safety we have on here is the Armispec uh, safety, which is ambidextrous. You have a short throw on the right, long throw on the left. Of course, that can be swapped over, uh, depending if you're left or right-handed. So we go back a little bit further. You can see on both sides, we have QD slot. So that uh, makes it so you're able to uh, put your one-point uh, sling adapter or well, it's two point if you have anything on, the, on your handguard as well. So we flip it over. We'll see we have stop notches on here as well. We also have the ambidextrous magazine release. This is very similar to that of the Colt. This one actually appeared before the Colt one did. But uh, this is the ambidextrous uh, bolt release. Now we look at the inside here. This has got the, uh, the open top shelf for anybody who has a registered lightning link so they can put it in there without any kind of a problem. And this one has Santan Tactical's uh, buttstock assembly. This is a, a stock mod stock. You have a QD point attachment in here. This, the, the pistol grip we have in here is, is the Mo that has the rubberized finish. This one here has the uh, Magpul Myad. This is a, actually my preference of everyone that's out there. So it comes with, the, as the assembly comes, it comes with a standard uh, buffer. And this is a standard mil spec receiver extension tube. So this was uh, this was the original. Now there was another one that uh, you'll see a photograph of it. It's the light. Basically, what they did was they removed anything that was not necessary, no bolt, no Amy bolt catcher or any of that, to make it as lightweight as possible. That would go along with one of their uh, lightweight upper receivers as well. Not too long after the introduction of the lower receiver came the upper receivers. This is manufactured of billet. Uh, as you can see, that it has a forward assist on here, fire cartridge case deflector. You do have numbered slots on the top. You flip it over, you can see there was material that was removed to make this one lighter. Now there was two versions of this. You had this one, and then you have one that was referred to as the as the big bore pillar. 
But basically it's the exact same thing, but the ejection port is a lot wider to allow for the 458 SOCOM or the uh, Bushma 450 Bushmaster or anything that's larger, so it allows for the larger cartridge to be able to be ejected out of here. Now looking on the inside, you're not going to be able to see in here, but you do have uh, feed ramps on here as well for uh, use with a barrel extension with M4 feed ramps. And this upper is 6.9 ounces. Another interesting aspect of the upper and lower receivers are they are spring pinless, meaning they don't utilize spring pins for the forward assist. It uses a, it uses a screw. And when you come down to here, if you look at the, the bolt catch, this utilizes a screw as well, instead of having to use the use a roll pin, which is certainly much easier. Uh, and all you do is put a bit of Loctite on there, but it's also easier to remove. Also, you, you, we can't see here, but if you were to remove the uh, receiver extension end plate, you would also notice if you were to remove the end plate, the spring that holds in the detent for the, for, for the rear pivot pin, that's also held in by a captive screw as well, so you're not going to be uh, fiddling around and, and messing around with a, with a spring on that as well. Next product we're going to take a look at is they have their own bolt carrier group. The bolt carrier group, is uh, they make them both in 5.56 and 7.62. Black nitride finish, as you can see, they're set up for the forward assist. Now the bolt is 9310 case hardened steel, and it's also MPI tested, which means magnetic particle tested, as well as proof tested with a 70,000 PSI cartridge. The cam pins also manufactured a 4310 steel. The firing pins manufactured from 8740 steel. Very, very well made, a very nice feel to it. You have proper staking on there. Um, again, it's, nitri it's nitride. Notice when we take a look at the bolt carrier, you'll see we have three gas port exhausts instead of two. The additional exhaust port allows you to get rid of more unnecessary gas much faster than the standard with the two. You can also see we have an enlarged area at the rear of the bolt carrier. What that does is it centers up more properly in the receiver extension to prevent carrier tilt. We don't really deal with too much carrier tilt with uh, with the internal piston. It's always, generally always the external piston that does, but this still keeps everything more in line, more straight. Santan Tactical also offers as an upgrade to your existing rifle, their magazine release, their bolt catch, and their forward assist. The forward assist we'll see in a moment here. We're taking a look at the complete rifle. So you can buy those as upgrades to your rifle. The next thing you'll see from the photograph here is that they also offer barrels. Cal 223 Wild, uh, they also have 10.5, 16.25, and 7.5 inch barrels. 4150 Chrome Olive Vanadium, uh, 1 and 7 inch twists, 6 lines of grooves, right hand twist. You'll also notice that right in front of the gas tube for using a low profile gas block with the screws, you have a dimple that's in there so you can lock the uh, gas block into place. So now what we're going to take a look at is their complete rifle. Now they offer two rifles, uh, one I'm not sure, this is the 5.56 millimeter or this is the 223 wild barrel. They also offer a six millimeter arc rifle. When I spoke to Santan Tactical, I wanted to review one of their complete rifles and they offer them in six millimeter arc. Well, the problem was, was with the arc ammunition, I didn't have much availability of it. So I asked them if they could build me one in the 223 wild. They did have some barrels in there, so they did build me a one up. Uh, if you were to contact them, they could build you one in the 223 wild, but they advertise just, just the ARC. The ARC is an excellent cartridge. Uh, as I said, just right now, the availability of the ammunition was, was very, very tight. So this is as, as a rifle came from the factory. So we're gonna go over the different features that they have on, the, on their rifle. First, we have a CTR stock in the rear. We have a six position receiver extension. We have a Raptor charging handle that's, got, that's made for Santan Tactical. They have their S, ST uh, on, on the charging handle. Probably one of the best charging handles on the market. You have their standard pillar upper receiver. As you can see, their forward assist has got that same kind of uh, dippling on it, which makes it, you know, you, it makes it very easy to, uh, to grip onto and your hand doesn't slip off of it. This is also offered as an upgrade to your standard rifle. On the front here, we have a Midwest Industries 16 inch handguard. As you can see, it's M-Lock. It does have two QD attachment points on the rear. We do have our Manta covers on here. If you're interested in the Manta covers, we, we do have a code for them. It's 20% off of all of the Manta products. These are excellent because of the fact that they work well with heat. They're not just a protector. They also uh, they also protect your hands from extreme heat. These things here, you could, if you try to take a cigarette lighter to them, they will not burn. They're a lot different from any of your standard rail protectors. These specifically keep keep much, much cooler than the, than the handguard. Now, the barrel we have on here, as we just spoke of, it's 4150 chrome olive vanadium, 223 wild chamber. This happens to be a mid-length gas system, which is, a, you know, I'm very, very fond of. And they have their own gas block on here, held in by set screws. If I had to criticize a rifle, this is something I always say. Uh, I prefer to have drill and pinned. However, since these guys do the dimpling with the Loctite, this one here is not going to go anywhere. But this is uh, one of the benefits to that. Again, six lines and grooves, right-hand twist. You have a standard uh, A2 style compensator. 
The sites they chose were the Magpul Pro, so they did not, they were not skimping on cost of anything. It's all higher, high end. So we have the, uh, the Magpul front site, which is adjustable for uh, elevation. And at the rear, we have it adjustable for windage. We also have a larger aperture on there as well. The bolt carrier is their proprietary bolt carrier. Now the trigger they have on here is a CMC trigger. Uh, as you can see, it's a flat trigger. It's a, uh, you know, there are people out there who prefer the flat. I'm, I prefer the the, the the curve myself, it's just me. The selector we have on here is their arm spec uh, SFT4590. The 4590 means that you can have either a 45 degree throw or 90 degree throw. As you can see on this one, this is set up for the for the 45. Personally, I would switch this over if it was mine to the 90, that's, that's just me. But as it comes from the factory, it comes with a 45 degree flow. And again, you have the Magpul rubberized grip. So without further ado, we're gonna take this to the range. We're gonna see how this one shoots. Well, since it was a newer rifle that was all theirs, I did put some additional rounds through it that I normally do. I've actually got 600 rounds through this. Um, 300 of it was Black Hills ammunition. It was their 55 grain uh, open tip match. And then I had uh, an additional 200 rounds of Black Hills 223 round 55 grain full metal jacket. And then we also had some of the, some of the UMC 223 full metal jacket. And I am happy to say there was not a single malfunction. Uh, the trigger trigger was quite nice. Again, it takes me a little bit of time to get used to a flat trigger. I'm more used to the curved ones. Handling is very, very nice. For as far as uh, fit and finish on these guns, these guns are beautiful. Uh, there's this, the sculpture on them. There's you know no machining marks. Very, very well made. Uh, and basically, if you look at the receivers, a lot of the additional things that you pay money for uh, is already included in the receivers. Again, you have your QD points in the rear because it's quite popular right now to have the one point uh, slings, but you also have an adapter in the rear, so you have a, the ability to put your one point sling on the back of it as well. Integral trigger. Now, your ambi features, they are also very useful for people who are right handed as well. If for, I, I tend like to, to grip from the front and use my thumb to remove the magazine, that works well for me being right handed as well. So, my overall impressions on this rifle are excellent. Now, for as far as the six millimeter arc, again, with the ammunition issues at the moment. Uh, I tend to definitely want to go more towards the 223 Wild. Uh, as ammunition becomes a little bit more available, uh, you're looking for more of a hunting type rifle for a larger caliber, uh, for a larger game. It's certainly an excellent cartridge. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the write-ups on the 6mm arc. Um, the, the ballistics are very, very impressive. 
but uh, you know, until the ammunition becomes more readily available, I would like to get my hands on one of these at some point in 6mm arc when I do have ammo uh, to, to do some test firing with it. But overall, I have followed this company since it started, uh, since uh, they first put their Hearst ads out on the internet. I had Dennis personally send me out one of his first receivers. I was very, very impressed with it. Uh, when he came out with his upper receiver, I had him send me one of those. In fact, if you look on uh, some of my earlier articles I wrote for Small Arms Review, I had boutique black rifles. And one of those boutique black rifles, one of the four, was a Santan Tactical Lower. Uh, at that time, the upper receiver wasn't available yet. Uh, I used, uh, if I recall on that one, I used a Aero Precision one with uh, upper receiver without a forward assist. Um, obviously at a later date when, when the upper became available I did that so I've really followed these guys for quite some time and they've come out with more and more products uh, to build more of their own their own rifle they have excellent manufacturing capabilities excellent fit and finish excellent quality control and if you're looking for an ambidextrous rifle I certainly would take a look at the Santan Tactical well I hope you all enjoy this video if you do please click like please subscribe and even better share